So in electronics industry, which one is best, a government job or a VLSI private job? In first half of this video, I'll discuss or I'll compare between these two options and in second part, I'll give my honest opinion. So let's get started. Please click on like button to give your attendance. Hey, hi new people. So I'm your big brother Rasdeep and currently I'm working as CAD engineer with Intel. So I have many of my friends who are working on PSU like your DRDO, then airport authority of india then iocl and myself personally work on private sector so i think i am in a good position to compare both of these two options so first of all we'll start with the work culture work culture is very important in any job because work culture not only help you to be more productive if the company has a great work culture then it definitely add on to your life so inside work culture we'll have many things for example timing so in private sector or any vlsi industry timing is not any issue okay timing is just a flexible thing and again this doesn't mean that you can come anytime and go anytime but there is a fixed chunk of time where you need to be available if you are not available then you can just send one mail and you can work later in our like example for me many of time in daytime i feel like okay now if i take a super nap then I, i'll be more productive so what i did i just take my super nap and in the evening hour i can finish my work and with this work from home scenario it become more flexible at the same time this is not true for any government job in most of the government job timing is fixed every day you will be working on a fixed specific amount of time and this directly related to the work life balance and it's a damn fact that in government job you will be having a greater balance in work and job than a private job but having said that private sector it is not so bad either because in private job sometimes you need to push yourself extra because the deadline of any project are hard most of the time so you need to finish it up but that doesn't mean that they will tell you to push yourself extra for free they will definitely pay you for that extra hour or they will give you extra holiday next is infrastructure so in that category definitely our vlsi or private job is a winner because in private sector we have cut through competition for the employee and if your infrastructure is not good then from outside it won't feel good vibe is not good so all the offices all the furnitures are ergonomically designed inside any private jobs building you will feel uplifted because they use all kind of science to make that possible but in contrary to government job your infrastructure most probably are old you won't be finding any probably any ergonomic design there or any color science there so working from office from a private job it's really add-on and this brings to us the location most of the government jobs are located in remote places where all the private jobs and especially vlsi are located in the core part of the city and those are mostly in bangalore hyderabad delhi mumbai pune so you will be having lot of fun there because every weekend you don't need to search for any option because there are tons of options and again in private job there are many foreign opportunity you can go abroad after you get experience of three year or more but in government as this is under government of india they are most probably you will work inside india only and then we have one fact which is not so important if you see from outside but it's really important and that is in government job you need to call your senior by sir madam but in maximum of our vlsi industry we, we don't have su su such thing like we can call by name to anyone any senior if he is or she is a ceo also we can call him or her by name and why it is so much important because see i have many of my colleagues who, who already have completed five year ten year in the industry and if i need to tell them sir ma'am then it create a inbuilt barrier so any fresher will hesitate to call that person every time but if you call anybody by name by virtue of that you can start feeling more friendliness and we are not fortunate that our boss would be the the best boss every time so in mnc or in private job you can anytime change your boss 
inside a company or you can switch your job but in government job it's hardly possible to change your boss definitely after some time in government jobs also you can change your boss or manager but it is not as quickly as it's possible in private sector and these comparison are of fully generic because there are many exceptional cases so if you find any exception in government job or vlsi job like like i am saying all the government jobs willing are a little bit older if you find any government job where they have a great infrastructure you can let us know let's discuss about the more important thing and that is the work type so see in vlsi or any private sector the work you will do for sure more than 90 percent or sometimes 100 percent will be technical only if you are a coder you will be coding only if you are an electronics engineer you will be designing or validating or verifying the design only but this is not the case for government job in government job technical work are there for example i have few of my friend in drdo so they are currently doing their jobs in some ai coding they do this thing but at the same time i have another my friend who is working on clerical things like working with excel ppt and those things and as an engineer i find it out very boring but in vlsi industry for sure you won't be doing any clerical job probably one or two ppt you might need to be made to present your work but mostly you will work on the practical thing or in technical things only and if we consider the growth factor then for sure in private sector you have all the possibility of growth in government sector they will train you in a small spectrum of the technology and you will be working on that for repeatedly for many years for lifetime which is false for a private job there every day you may work on some new thing which is challenging and i think we love challenges so by the time you finish your two three or four year you would be knowing a large spectrum of technical things in your domain like if you are in layout design or back end then you will be knowing many more things than a guy who is working on a government job and probably he won't be doing any electronics job also and being a lover boy or a girl of electronics i think it's very unfortunate thing and for selection procedure in government you need to write an exam and then give the interview and in the exam they put all the general knowledge thing and then every else they put inside that paper and they try to make that paper so diverse but in private company or vlsi whenever you'll write the exam they are very specific about the paper and there you will be tested only on the thing for which you are hired for so that's why getting into a private vlsi company is much easier than going for a common job and you might be knowing that many of people spend year and year to prepare for a government job and now the most interesting section and that is the pay and promotion in vlsi industry or any private job the payment can go up to the sky sky is the limit if you have the skill from year by year your increment could be from single digit to 50 percent 80 percent to 100 percent also if you switch any job then that new job might provide you more than 100 percent increment also if you have the skill condition apply but in government job if you have the skill they might pay you something extra but during promotion or payment it will follow the pay commission bands they can never ignore that pay commission band and that's why every year your growth could be from five to eight percent or probably ten percent not more than that and in the promotion sector also in vlsi we don't have any minimum year you can promote it twice or thrice in a year or you might not be promoted in entire three four year also government job you have some roughly year after that year for example three year you would be promoted for sure and then again after three year you will be promoted to the next step or sometimes people what they do they write the exam for the promotion they clear it and then then get promoted but in vlsi job it is all skill based so let me know which one is better for you which one you like and i think when you start your job in a bsu or government setup a salary is less 
then what you can get if you start your journey in VLSI industry and that is not true for every time for example if you have written your gate you have two options to spend your two year and get a job or directly get into a PSU then I think after completion of MTech the salary you will be fetching would be more than what you are getting after two years at PSU provided that you have a master degree and you are placed in a product based company and i have made one salary inside video of lsi industry link are in the description and one myth is there that any every people say in government salary are less but hey see other facility i'm getting a house insurance debt policy but hey dear in private also we have lot of other benefits and i have explained that thing in that video after this video have a watch so what is the future scope see if you start your career with MNC or VLSI job after 2-3 years you can for sure after writing an exam you can switch your job to PSU no issue but if you have spent your 2-3 years in PSU then the reverse process is little difficult because you would be habituated with the style of work at PSU and with all due respect in the style of work in PSU are little relaxed than in our private industry so it's like going from hard thing to easy thing is easy but if you are habituated with easy thing then switching it little difficult but yeah people do that thing also and there is another myth that all government jobs are stable but nowadays government jobs are not at stable because many times you feel it's a PSU job but then government will decide I'll be invest this company I'll make this company as private company so jobs are not so stable and same thing is true for private job also people think jobs are not stable but if you are in a big MNC like Intel Qualcomm all the big name in the industry then there your jobs are stable if you have the skill and in bonuses it's true that if you are a government employee your respect in the society would be much higher than if you are in a private sector and you know that thing when you go for marriage proposal and in government job you may come across with corruption so at that time you need to be mentally strong to avoid making that corruption or force somebody to not do the corruption but in private job most probably we don't have this scenario so what is my opinion yes i can accept that yeah i am too much biased toward a private job or a vlsi industry but let me clear that both the option of job are too much important for our indian economy so if you are working on psu you are respectable and if you are working on private job you are also respectable having said that private jobs are like high risk high return job and government job are low risk low return job and if you say what i will do for me it's like initial phase of my life i will spend in private job in vlsi industry i will try to learn everything because i am now in my 20 i have the energy i can work for eight hours and i can stress myself to learn the extra thing right now probably for next three to five years that it's my prime time to know the technology how it work on industry not in the book book is finished i done my mtech but now i need to know how things is done this is not possible in psu job because for example in airport authority of india you would be knowing only a small spectrum of thing and there is no need to know extra thing and that's why you will feel lazy to know the extra thing but in vlsi industry as every day is challenging so it will motivate you to know the thing or know the extra thing each day and that's the thing i love about this job so i think in initial year you should take up one private job or VLSI job and after that if you feel too much uncomfortable then you have all the time to write that specific exam and go for a PSU job or a government job and at least I gonna follow this approach let me know if you are agree with my points or you are disagree with my point and we will continue our discussion in the comment section below so comment down now and if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe it now and i'll see you in our next video till then keep learning and tata bye bye